Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Today guys, we're back with another brand new episode of a, or another brand new episode on my mini series, as I was meant to say there guys, called A Noob's Guide to Platinum. If you're new to the channel and you're new to this little mini series, basically this is my mini series where I teach you guys how to get all the achievements in Minecraft, um, all the, you know, non mini game achievements, obviously, you know, all the achievements from 1 to 50 that relate to just Minecraft, not including, of course, the mini games. I will be doing that probably later on after I've done a few of these guys. But uh, yeah guys, so today's achievement that we're going to be hunting for is Leader of the Pack. Now this one is fairly easy and fairly simple to do. Um, some people kind of find difficulty with it and some people take a lot longer than what they really do need to take with this. Um, but today I'm going to be probably teaching you guys the fastest way to get the achievement and probably the best way as well guys. So yeah, if you do go to enjoy the video as always, please be, uh, please be sure to smack a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Alright, so basically guys, I'm just going to say this real quick. A lot of people like to do this in a more legit way where basically you collect bones, um, obviously, you know, in survival and stuff from killing skeletons and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that's a bad way, I'm just saying if it's on your own personal survival world and you want to earn an achievement, you better, you know, you, you're more or less probably best to do that, okay? Nonetheless, of course, right? You're, you're better to do that on your own survival world. But if you're just looking for the achievement and you're not looking to just complete it on your own specific survival world, I'd probably recommend doing it on the tutorial world, guys. Now, if you don't know, the tutorial world basically has all the things that are necessary, all the locations that are necessary, all that kind of stuff to gain all the achievements in Minecraft, of course. That is really what the tutorial's purpose is actually for. It's not really a major publicized purpose, but it is a purpose nonetheless. Um, as you can see here, I've got exactly 10 bones right here. This is more than enough to tame some wolves, which is what we're going to have to do, all right? So if you guys don't know, a lot of people always get the, you know, always get confused because sometimes when they tame wolves like this, what, what they'll think is, right, there you go, that's me got two. Now, if I breed them both, I'll have three to do it again. I'll have four, then five, and I should get the achievement. That isn't how this works. You don't do that. To actually get the achievement, you need to tame five wolves. So this is me just tame two. I haven't made them breed. Making them breed and have an actual baby wolf doesn't count as it, okay? So if you want to get this achievement, what I would recommend doing is just taming them, not trying to get them to breed so much. Breeding doesn't really help as much. That doesn't help you get the achievement any faster than it does doing it this way right now another little tip and trick I'd probably say and I've noticed that this actually does work at least it worked for me was the idea of if you want to do this achievement you don't actually have to befriend five wolves in the same game you can actually have like you know multiple different games where you've you know befriended a few wolves and it will still give you the achievement because nonetheless you still befriended a certain amount of wolves in total like in general um, so with this one, what I'd probably recommend saying is this: If I was you guys, I'd do the tutorial. Would start up, the, you know, start up, load up the tutorial world. Come here, get the two dogs. You know, come off the tutorial world, come back on it with a new, you know, a new tutorial world. Come back here again, get another two dogs, and then do it exactly again. And then there you go, you'll have six dogs, and you should get the achievement because you've already tamed five. Um, that is my personal opinion. I'm just saying that's probably the best way to do it. Of course, you know, as you can see here, I've still got eight bones, so I could easily just go out looking for wolves and, um, you know, obviously just go tame some more kind of thing, get some more dogs. But for now, I'm pretty cool with these two, and, uh, you know, obviously there's a much faster way of doing it, of course, uh, with just, you know, reloading the tutorial, guys. But yeah, other than that, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you all did go to enjoy it. As always, if you did, as I already said, please be sure to drop a like down below, guys. Helps out the channel a lot and shows your love and support in these videos. Um, recently, you know, as I, I don't know if you guys all know this, I don't know if my video's up yet, but basically I'm making a video soon, um, or I've already made a video speaking about what's going on right now, but basically I've got a bunch of pre-recorded videos, including this one itself, that are all being uploaded over the space of like, uh, you know, a month and stuff. So it's really hard to make these videos, guys, right now. You know, I'm really trying my hardest, and I hope you guys do appreciate that. Anyway, also, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe if I didn't already see, because I upload videos like this and much more every single day to my channel, and you guys just simply do not want to miss out on some of the awesome content coming to my channel this month, the next month and the month after that but you guys other than that thank you for watching today's video i'll see you on tomorrow's and peace out guys